An eye this perfectly shaped is a real thing of beauty. The storm, wild and beautiful, dangerous and powerful. There's only one place you can hide that keeps you safe and warm. And that is in the eye of the storm. Of the storm. Of the storm. Of the storm. This week, Stephen Hawking made worldwide news by saying there are no black holes. Now, I think that Dr. Hawking should be congratulated for his courage in saying that he was wrong. None of us like to say we were wrong. But the news stories have really been significantly off on this subject because they all say Stephen Hawking contradicts the predictions of Einstein's theory of relativity. But that's not really true. Seventy-five years ago, Dr. Einstein proved and published that his theory predicts that there can be no black holes. Now, I'm not talking about whether or not there are black holes. That really is a question for observation. I'll deal with it in a minute. I'm talking about the historical question, does Einstein's theory of relativity actually predict that there are black holes? The answer is clearly no. In October of 1939, Einstein published in the Annals of Mathematics a paper. The paper was about the Schwarzschild singularity. Now, this was before the term black hole was called, coined, and what they were talking about was the singularity that was in the equations, or the solution to Einstein's equations, developed by Dr. Schwarzschild. So Einstein asked the question, there arises the question whether it is possible to build up a field containing such singularities with the help of actual gravitating masses, or whether such regions do not exist in cases that have physical reality. So what Einstein was asking was, sure, somebody has come up with a solution to my general relativity equations that predict these strange objects, black hole, what we now call black holes. But he asked, do they really exist? Is there any way that nature could actually form them? Well, he does some calculations and he concludes, it follows that a particle is bound to follow a path with a radius greater than 2 plus the square root of 3, which is about 3.7 times greater than the radius of the Schwarzschild singularity. In other words, Einstein says and calculates that an object that's collapsing can't get so dense that it forms a black hole. And he explains in great detail with many equations why this is true, which is as the object gets smaller and smaller, it spins faster and faster, its particles move faster and faster, until its kinetic energy stops decreasing as it contracts. So it reaches a minimum energy condition and it doesn't contract any further. So it reaches a minimum energy condition and it doesn't contract any further.